Semata-mata dah dapat limited edition swatch. From four a.m. to be around lah. Then you come out like that, and then shot at us. If you're wondering why there were just way too many people queuing up at that swatch shop near you, well, it's because they all wanted to buy this. This is called the Moon Swatch, and it is a limited edition. It's not limited edition, ah. Huh? Huh? Not limited edition. No, no, no. Then why everyone queuing up for? Because they saw. In 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. But it was also a big first for watch company Omega because the astronauts were wearing the company's Speedmaster chronograph. The Speedy is a mechanical watch with a stopwatch function and a tachymeter scale on the bezel, which allows the watch to convert elapsed time into speed. But the moon landing would not be the Speedmaster's only space adventure, as it was also used by astronaut Jack Swigert during the Apollo 13 mission. The Apollo 13 was crippled by a rupture of the service module oxygen tank, so Jack used his Speedmaster to time the 14-second burn using the lunar module's descent propulsion system, which allowed for the crew's safe return. But how is it related to Swatch? Well, on the 22nd of March, Omega announced that they will be collaborating with Swatch to produce a new collection of watches called the Moon Swatch. These new watches are inspired by the Speedmaster Moon Watch with a design that closely resembles Omega's timepiece, but it comes at a much more affordable price of 1,065 ringgit. There will be 11 different variants named after planetary bodies with a matching colour scheme to boot. And that's probably one of the reasons why people were so excited to buy it. You know, it's going to be one of the cheapest Omegas that you could buy. Only, it's not really an Omega watch. You know, if, if anything, it's more like a swatch with Omega Speedmaster branding on it. Despite looking quite similar, there are a number of differences between the Moon Swatch and the Omega Speedmaster. For starters, the Moon Swatch is not a mechanical watch. It uses a quartz movement instead, and that's powered by a battery. Plus, the case is also made of a bioceramic material that is apparently two-thirds ceramic and one-third material derived from castor oil. The strap is also what Swatch calls a spacesuit-ready Velcro strap instead of, you know, a bracelet or something like that. And the best part is that it's not even a limited-run collection. You know, as far as we can tell, this watch is here to stay. So you know why are people, people lining up for it? Because I think first things first is the Omega branding. Uh, uh -huh. Quite quite famous, everyone wants it. And secondly, it's because of collaboration, I think. Because mm -hmm. people tend to like collaboration stuff. Like For example, Uniqlo, you know, they've got like the anime collaboration with Jujutsu Kaisen, la, got with Demon Slayer. La. So I think that is why everyone wanted to buy this. But, but isn't that limited edition? They didn't mention if it's limited edition, but at a certain point, it's considered a limited edition also because maybe a <laughs> Uniqlo will actually stop the production. <laughs> so it's like even if they sell 10 million, it's still limited to yeah, 10 yeah, million. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Either that or maybe people didn't know that this line of watches is not like not li it's like it's not limited. So f for me, it's like the people who line up still okay. Um, but then the people who get really angry and then they're like yelling like the like the Singaporean girl was like, you give me a solution, uh, give me a solution. Bro, the solution is come back another day. <laughs> Literally, that is the... Uh, I cannot understand, man. It's the frustration lah. It's yeah. the frustration lah. Maybe la. they wait so long already. Yeah. Then that one your problem lah. Yo. <laughs> Uh, but we did go and try and see if we could get our hands on the moon swatch, right? So yeah. we went to the swatch shop in Pavilion. Pavilion. Uh, and unfortunately, we couldn't get our hands on it because uh, all the units that you could touch were sold out. But there were units there on display, yeah. So what do you think of them? You saw them in person now? Uh, like that lor. Like that? <laughs> Seriously, they are just like <laughs> like any normal swatches, you know? Swatches are like, you know, like very kiddy. Oh my kiddy, god. Kiddy. The thousands of people who queued up for the swatch, the moon swatch, now they are heartbroken it's for, again. It's for collection purposes <laughs> lah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they look bad they, yeah, look, they don't look bad they, they look, look okay they you look know okay. they look like legit like more adult watches than normal like swap watches because i think like normal swap watches they look very like Kitty. yeah because yeah. they are like plasticky and stuff like that right and there are things that i don't i don't like about it you know first of all it's a quartz movement like 
Come on, man. <laughs> it's a thousand ringgit watch. You give me a quartz. What? Like what? Hello. And then it's like the materials. Okay, so I asked like what I asked the shop the guy at the shop. Mm. It's like what is the crystal? What is the crystal made out of? It's like oh, it's just a normal normal one anymore. I'm like oh okay. Oh. And then I asked I asked like okay, so the material so the materials uh the case is mm. made of bio ceramic, right? They say that. But <laughs> You, they had other bioceramic watches, and we felt it. Yeah, it feels like it feels, plastic. Yeah, yeah, it feels like plastic. Yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, is it a cool? We'll we'll see if we can get. I don't know. Maybe we can get one to like show off. Um, if you're interested in that, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. But that is it for this this trends video. Yeah, hey, like us on Facebook. Like us on uh, Instagram. Like us on TikTok. Uh, follow us on TikTok. Like us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. And subscribe to our YouTube and channel. And sub- subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you have any thing that you want us to do next, put it down in the comment section below. Yeah. And Make we will sure check it out. You share this with your friends so that they watch the video. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. That was even worse. That was even worse. Okay, that's it. Bye, bye, guys. See you next time. <laughs>